see us perform live, use that big brand of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Okay. I hit the timer. That means it's my turn now. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to my segment where I'm going to roast the fuck out of Hutch for not telling us and reminding us that his birthday was coming up. And we didn't even mention it. Yeah. But it was his birthday. <laughs> And by roast, I mean, we're going to tell our favorite stories about Hutch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Now, now my brain has to change direction. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, my first question I, I would say is like, Hutch, we recorded an episode. Why didn't you tell us it was your birthday? <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's because fair. it was it was Sunday and not Thursday. <laughs> can uh, we can we so, do a Phoenix Wright thing? Because I've decided that I'm going to be on Hutch's side. Okay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Even though we're go- okay. so we're going to object to all the nice stories yeah. that we have for Hutch. Object, <laughs> objection, <laughs> Michelle. Why is the impetus on Hutch? To tell you when his birthday is, and not on you to do your research if you care about your friend as you claim you do. Because I forgot to write it down on the calendar. Because (laughs) I bought a planner at the beginning of 2020, and now I look at it on the floor and I'm like, you fucking piece of shit planner. Because there's no point in planning anymore. (laughs) 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 Nothing matters. (laughs) This whole year is out the window. <laughs> I wrote across the entire calendar for April. Canceled is what I wrote in the planner because <laughs> I have no memories from April. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> yeah, no, that's kind of fair. That's next month, right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Anyway, one of my favorite, like, I love Hutch whenever we do, like, any sort of marathons. Mm-hmm. He is, he, there's a point of delirium that comes with all of our marathons because we all, like, push ourselves way too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the first year we did the Cinco de Mario, I was up with Hutch most of the night while he was playing Mario Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> and at one point in the morning, he started singing this song that I think was a spoof on this other commercial. <laughs> And it was something like, come on in, sit right down. And then he was like, honey, pull your pants on down. <laughs> and he just like could not stop laughing. <laughs> we like had the so, giggles for like 10 minutes. And then when I asked him about it later, I was like, what song are you singing? He could not remember it at all. He was like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you touched on that, uh, on on the, the delirious hutch giggles. Yeah. Because those are... One of my favorite things in the world. Um, they are. <laughs> Hutch typically responds to delirium and exhaustion with either frustration or giggling. Um, and sometimes, like at, at Mega Manathon, an event we do. Um, I, don't know I feel how like to you put that in quotations. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, so, I can feel you know, those quotations. A lot of, a lot of times, Hutch. Hutch previously had gotten had gone in the direction of frustration but uh more recently it it had just turned into like hours of hutch just like this is (laughs) and that that delirious giggle is one of my favorite (laughs) things um hutch my favorite shit about you um i don't mean this to sound like this isn't a cruel statement. You're really funny when you're frustrated. Like when when you <laughs> I get love it super... when you're mad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like I I always empathize because you're you're usually frustrated about really reasonable things. Hmm. But it's it's funny when you're frustrated about unreasonable things and you just like huff. <laughs> I don't know. That isn't supportive good birthday talk. <laughs> No, I, I well, I think that like I, uh, whenever I get really frustrated, sometimes like self-deprecating humor or something like that usually kind of mm-hmm. <laughs> at least helps put me back in a more um, better uh, mindset. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so laughter, more... laughter is the best medicine. One of my favorite things about Hutch is. Um, 
<clears throat> he lets me get away with a lot of bullshit. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. He's such he's such a patient man. But whenever I'm like, "Hey, you want to do this dumb shit?" He's usually like, "Yeah." Yeah. <laughs> and not only is he like allows it, he's like, "No, no, we're going 100. percent I am in. We're going to do this." And he helps. I have done thorough research on how to do this dumb bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it in the depth dumbest way possible and then like and, and sometimes he outdumbs me my favorite <laughs> is whenever we start streaming and like my he, he of course he loves playing video games we all love playing video games but he has an absolute delight of being the person who's editing the stream to add as much <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> bullshit to the screen as possible there was a time when i think he added like 30 goddamn animated gifs to a stream of me and Juggle Boy and him playing some games and turned us all into like just dancing gifs. We were just made of dancing gifs in our faces. <laughs> and just uh, moments like that and are then delightful. And someone does like a screenshot and mm -hmm. then we have no context for it. And then like a year or two later, we'll see the screenshot and be uh -huh. like, what the fuck were we doing that night? Yeah, like one night I shaved half of my face for money or something. And he we put on Mega Man helmets on everybody, mm -hmm. but he took uh, the Mega Man helmet that i was wearing and made it half of a half helmet, of a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah i was gonna mention that specifically <laughs> it's one of my favorite things about him there was oh gosh there's one where um juggle boys playing through near and um greg was here with us and I threw just as fucking much stuff as I could, like, mm -hmm. behind this. There was eventually, like, a fireplace with Luis, like, on top of it. <laughs> I turned I turned Greg into a spaceman. I gave him a space helmet with a little sheriff, like, gun mm -hmm. star on his... <laughs> and then I put, like, a, a, a no-weed um, like, <laughs> thing in, like, the top corner. And, and a, a skeleton. I need to find it. Um, because it's really, it's really dumb. Oh my god, yeah. Anytime, anytime, I, I really miss, like, that's the only really thing, like, I, of course, I had a lot of fun living with Hutch and whatnot, but one of my favorite things is I miss being able to just walk in on some bullshit stream he was doing, yeah. and just be a part of the nonsense, <laughs> so... We miss his laugh through the wall. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh my god, it'd be like fucking three o'clock in the morning, and me and Brittany are like, we're up or whatever because we're all we're night awake, owls. But we'd hear Hutch through the wall. He'd like, be like, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good. Oh god. I found, I found the, uh, the image, and it's even better than I remember. Here we go. All right. Yeah, you're going to have to put the, uh, give me the stuff so I can put it on screen. I'm but yeah, about, it's, um, <laughs> wow. So, Good. like, a lot of times Hutch plays the straight man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that he can't just perfectly deploy, like, some weird shit zinger. Mm-hmm. Um... And sometimes it catches me off guard. Oh, um, it does me all the time. That's why it's so fucking funny because I just That's wasn't, why he's on the podcast. I wasn't expecting. <laughs> like, no, no, seriously. Like there's no, many There reasons. are a lot of reasons, Michelle. There's yeah. a lot of Hunch reasons. Is a valuable Shut up. Human I'm can stand let me finish. I'm not done. This is this, uh, you can't object until I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, that is, like, one of my, like, number one reasons. Like, oh, yeah, of course, I want to be on a podcast with all my friends. But Hutch is just, like, <laughs> he'll just say some <laughs> shit out of nowhere that just destroys me. And it's amazing. So, yeah, it's just like, oh, yeah, he's got to be there just for that. <laughs> Sometimes just, I get a good zinger in. <laughs> I, I would say, like, at least, like, once an episode, you get a zinger in. And yeah. I don't, and it's always just, like, <clears throat> random as fuck. At least once, usually more, but at least Hutch once. Hutch has encyclopedic knowledge of the dumb shit we've <laughs> talked about and <laughs> joked about. Yeah. And sometimes he can just build the perfect query in his brain that brings the right thing back. And it's some <laughs> shit that I didn't even remember was a joke, <laughs> but it, like, in in one phrase, he'll remind me of that joke, reestablish the context, and like bring it forefront in my brain, and mm -hmm. it's delightful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. I mean, I, 
to get serious for a minute, Hutch is fucking amazing because if it wasn't for Hutch letting us live with him, um, I would never have started my Etsy business. Mm-hmm. I would never had the mm-hmm. means to do that. And I don't think we would have been able to get our job at Limited Run either just nope. because everything lined up in such a way. So I'm always like super thankful that Hutch allowed us to mooch off of him for three, three years. <laughs> years. When we moved into him, I told him we might be there for like two months. Yeah. You moved into <laughs> him? <laughs> we did. We moved into him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All well, the way I, in. And, I lived and... in his chest cavity. Michelle <laughs> lived. In... <laughs> did you have a bridge between them? <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, I think all of us, <clears throat> all three of us have, well, all four of us have Hutch to thank for our current life circumstances. Absolutely. Because yeah. when I when I got my job and needed to move out to the the area quickly hutch was like yeah sure fuck it come on (laughs) yeah it was really bizarre because like during that time i it was like what a week afterwards that we moved into something like that it was something something crazy crazy. i I think it was longer than i think it was a couple of weeks but i can't remember because i just started (laughs) a new job yeah and everything kind of like goes wobbly around there Mm mm-hmm you know, it it was hard because, like, you know, me and Brittany lived in a fucking living room. But mm. um, I do value those, like, th- those brief few months where all four of us lived together. Um, mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun. Uh, one of my yeah. favorite memories was when um, I stole Hutch's copy of Metal Gear Solid Five from him. <laughs> And me and Jairus, <laughs> me and Jairus started playing it in the living room. And uh, we just had this like wild moment where we just like got to experience Kojima for the first time together. Like anytime yeah. you see Kojima, a Kojima game for the first time, it's an experience. <laughs> and doing it with friends is even better. Yeah. And, and realizing that you can shoot people with a balloon gun that puts a, uh-huh. that, that just pulls them away. I remember it, it, that joy laugh <laughs> <laughs> and like it th- it was just one of those really perfect times where like even though we were all struggling in our own ways at the time like hutch allowing us to all be together was just like one of my favorite moments yeah hutch, I, hutch I, I, I do miss <laughs> I, I yeah i miss uh being around both you uh, or all of you, not both of you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, two different people. Which both does he mean? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so some, or does it work? <laughs> so sometimes me and Brittany get put together as it's the fine. same you beings. Can glue those <laughs> together, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I think I that's think... where mine was. Yeah, but yeah, I do. I do miss like just being having easy access for banter and just sitting mm-hmm. down and playing shit. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Easy access for banter. I mean, it's true. Like I used to. Hello, just be fellow like, humans. <laughs> I would like some banter. I would be. I would be bored, and I'd be like, "Okay, I'm just going to get up and go and like go into Hutch's room." Sometimes we wouldn't talk. Sometimes I would just w- go in there, sit on the couch while he was like working or watching WrestleMania or whatever the what fuck he was doing. doing. <laughs> and he'd be like, "Hey, I'm busy." I'm like, "That's cool. I'm going to sit here and watch you do what you're doing." <laughs> it's so creepy. <laughs> it was. It's pretty creepy. If I was but, you, I'd have been like, get the fuck out of here. He did a couple times. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it was one of my favorite things. So we'd come in there and like, my it was either like, he'd tell me about what he bought on Slick Deals recently <laughs> or what's available. And I was broke. He'd be like, hey, you look at this. It's only like $30. Like, I don't have $30. <laughs> but <laughs> Or we'd get into some weird, deep conversation about like, at the time, I think it was a lot of it was politics because like... At the time, that was the issue. Yeah, but um, yeah, not unlike now, where all well, of it's been settled. <laughs> there's a lot more going on now. Though. Yeah, <laughs> it's all political based. But yeah, anyways, that's that's off topic. But um, we would have like really good conversations, and I miss being able to be like, "Hi, we're gonna talk." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had good. Be my friend. And other conversations. Sit down and friendship me. <laughs> 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 but I just um, wanted to say happy birthday, Hutch. I'm sorry that happy birthday, it's Hutch. fucking weird the pandemic, so we couldn't have like a get together or anything. Um, I, I I appreciate it. Um, I I had to work anyway, so I didn't do much of anything. I, I streamed uh, Greece, uh, mm-hmm. which was great. That that game was 
beautiful and awesome, and I was so glad that I finally played it. And it fit just in time. Like, it was a good, like, solid four hours. Like, it fit no, right good. the stream time. Um, that convinces uh, me that I need to play it. <laughs> I need to play it, too. Oh, yeah. Um, another thing, uh, so another story that you guys would get a kick out of. It's funny that you called me out on not mentioning my birthday. Um, so I went down to stay with my friends that were living in Miami at the time for a mm-hmm. week. Um, uh, mm-hmm. and it happened to go over my birthday and I didn't mention it to them because I thought it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> but of course they're on Facebook, right? So like it was like my birthday. They realized like why are you doing this? It was your birthday. And I, like, I didn't want to like guilt trip you to throw me a party. It's like your guests. Like, <laughs> uh, and so they they never let me uh, forget about that. <laughs> there are so many opportunities. Hey, I'm coming down for a weekend. Is that cool? Yeah. What do you want to do? Anything special? Is there any interesting things going on that is leading to you coming down here? Oh, no, nothing at all. <laughs> and then the day of his birthday, they wake up, check face, and they're like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? They used I'm to just, say, hey, you want to go to the beach? I'm like, yeah. I'm just Tell imagining. I'm just, just making a birthday cake in the sand, like, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. <laughs> It's my birthday. <laughs> He's but got not like, like a piece of but drift, not like in a sad wood. way, just in a like, it's my birthday, you know, like <laughs> I'm building a birthday cake sandcastle. It's just like <laughs> Hey, check this out. <laughs> well, I'm excited because I'm gonna go see Hutz this week. Um I'm gonna go spend time with him. And um because I I, I I mean, you're going to go see your family, and I'm going to go see some one of my friends. Yeah. So I'm really excited this week. We're going to spend some time. So, but uh, happy birthday, Hutch, and uh, thank you for being awesome. Yeah, thank ah, you for thank being you awesome. Thank really you nice. for being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Travel down the road back again. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get a copyright strike. <laughs> All right, well, peace out. Bye. Bye. See you.